this is obviously a, a, a new character for me. I'm just kind of sinking into his skin a little bit, but there's a certain le level of intensity that I need. So I kind of listen to music, kind of hardcore, kind of, you know, punch myself in the face a couple of times. <laughs> And, but, but it would be easy for me to just to play the villain, and I'm, I'm not I'm not looking to do that. So I'm just discovering him, really. So I'm looking forward to getting his skin. Thank Great you. question. Thank you. And for those of you wondering how I get into character, I just make it up. Uh, your question. Hi, my name is Tessa. My question is: If Lex isn't gone, is there any possibility of Jimmy coming back? Uh, oh, the Jimmy. Oh, oh boy, dead. Yeah. <laughs> You want to keep it secret? Yeah, um, no, you know what? We have to say, Aaron Ashmore just it was one of the greatest actors to work with. We love him. Uh, you know, but the show has always had a history of trying to line up with the mythology. Uh, so that's, you know, what we always kind of knew because he wasn't the right age as with the mythology. But, you know, it's Smallville and strange days happen and you never know. But we love him and, uh, and we were so happy to be able to work with him. And as we all know from comics, dead is dead. Uh... <laughs> Hi, my name is Maestro. Hi. Next question is for Cassidy. Um, I wanted to know, um, what personal experiences or uh, attributes do you use to help build the character of Mercy? Um, what, what personal attributes? It's funny that you say that because um, people meet me and they're like, you're so bubbly and like not evil and angry and killing people. Um, and I say, well, thank you, but you don't really know me. Um, uh, the part of her that I actually pull from myself the most, I would say, um, is, her, um, is her strength and her inability really to not do that which her heart asks her to do, even if it means that it's, it might hurt other people. Um, not always the most beautiful part of oneself, but a passionate part of oneself. And, um, and I like that about her character, and I think I like it because I like it about myself. That's an excellent superpower. Gracias. <laughs> <laughs> We all saw the pseudo suit that was on screen a little bit ago. You guys could explain it a little bit more and just tell us, you know, Spandex is actually pretty comfortable. <laughs> The thing that when we read the pilot, like Brian was saying, what we loved was this show is about the origins, and it's the sh or origins of villains, just like our, it's our origins of our superheroes. And we know that it, there's a long sort of arc to become really who Superman becomes. And that's kind of where the comics, you know, we are going to line up with them. But I think for us, we know that there's, it's a bumpy road, and he had, you know, he's not going to go straight to Taylor probably and figure it all out the first time. It's going to take him a little while. So, uh, so that's kind of where that idea came from. And there'll be, you'll, you'll kind of understand it, I think, once you see the, the premiere this year. Okay, I, I've just been told that, that our time is limited. So what I want to do is a lightning round. So when you ask your question right down to the little thing, and then if you guys can pop back with answers that are real quick ones, then we can get as many people in as possible. Go! Hi Tom, um, quick question for you. Now that you're producing, and if there's gonna be season 10, what do you think about moving production from Vancouver down to San Diego? Is there a particular address in San Diego you're looking for? What do you plan to bring to the table? What do you hope to accomplish now? Uh, <laughs> lightning round. Lightning round. Come on, let's go. Um, I, I hope to um, close the gap between production and, and actual on-set, um, the shooting that we do physically on-set in front of the camera. Hopefully just cut that time and increase that communication. Thank you. Go. Hello, I was wondering if after the movie finishes, I mean, um, show if there's going to be a movie maybe. Did you guys like a movie? Yeah. I think we just cast. Yeah. Next question. 
Hi, my name is Rachel, and my question is for Allison. So, since um, Jimmy's no longer here, um, and it sounds like a lot of the time the season can be dedicated to you becoming Watchtower, do you still get a chance for a love interest? Is there still a chance between Clark and Chloe? Oh. <laughs> my twin daughters wanted to pass. <laughs> That's very sweet. I, I'm, I'm thinking that the Clark and Chloe might be a little bit dead in the water. No, he's, he's pretty occupied with a few other women in his life. Um, and uh, I think that for Chloe, she, I, you're going to see a lot of sort of the process of healing the loss of Jimmy and, and dealing with some of the things that happened for her last year and really stepping into more of a powerful position. So I'm not sure she's going to have much time for a, a love interest in the first little while, but you never know. I mean, she's always open to romance. squeeze it in. Yeah. I can, you know, right? Before saving the world and telling the superheroes where to go. Logan well, you know, Oliver. <laughs> <laughs> well, my name is Bryce, came all the way from Hawaii. When we get to season 10, I just want to know is there any truth to uh, Metropolis as the title? <laughs> Metropolis is, is a rumor at this point, but as most of you know, we've basically become Smallville Cohen, the Metropolis years. <laughs> Next question. Is that it? No. Uh, Tom, uh, what actress do you like to work with best? Oh. Next question. <laughs> Sorry, really quick. Um, on behalf of the members of Divine Intervention and uh, Operation Wild Cherry, we send all our love to Erica. And thank you for more Lois. Okay, and thank you for the pens. <laughs> um, last season we saw a lot of Lois' feelings for Clark, for Clark, but next season we'll be seeing Clark's side this time around, like more from him. Uh, sadly, this year, just as Clark starts to fall for Lois, she's falling for the blur. Which is a bit of a problem Superman. for Clark. Okay, thank you. Next. <laughs> is playing your character easy? <laughs> no. <laughs> Hi, I'm Banks Allison. Taylor and Mara say hi, and happy early birthday. Thank you. Um, to the creative team, what was it like to work with Kristen again, especially for her last episode of Red Queen? Wonderful. Next question. <laughs> We're doing good. Uh, are there any uh, true plans for Green Arrow to bring Speedy to the league? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we actually may be exploring a, a Green Arrow sidekick story as we speak, so. Do we have to we have to watch oh, the show? That's it. That's summary fast. Speed with lightning speed. Um, they have a little bit of a rocky start, so I tune in and see what happens. <laughs> Next Friday, eight o'clock. <laughs> hey, I'm Kobe Wade. Uh, I was wondering how you want to combine Clark Kent with glasses, with Clark Kent with Superman, because everybody knows Clark Kent kind of you know his visual features. How you at the end? How you how, how will you combine the Clark Kent? You know, what would be great to watch that on the show? We have two years <laughs> to explore that, so you, oh, you're, we're back there. Awesome. Where we are. Last question. <laughs> Yeah, I know we heard Jeff talk about Justice Society, but are we going to have any more Justice League episodes with Green Arrow, Cyborg, Aquaman, Impulse? Any more on those coming up? If we pass the popcorn bucket around and collect some money right now. <laughs> uh, we're we're going to do our best. We're absolutely going to do our best. I, I, think, I think we have one thing Kelly wants to talk about. Oh, I just wanted to say this because nobody sitting up at this table would, would ever say this, but this is the hardest working cast you have ever seen. dedicated, incredibly passionate, they pick up the phone if there's anything they don't understand, and we work through it, and also have to say that about our crew too, because you see it, it they put on a feature every week, and I don't know any other crew that could do that, so thank you everybody. And I think that's a really good place for us to stop. Thank you all, we are on Friday nights, 8 o'clock.